Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode here in the off-grid garage, which is still on-grid, actually. Well, today, very ex I'm super excited. Today, I'm taking care of this bad boy here. This is um, my, my good old friend Luke's wife, cousin, has got this system on their roof at the moment. I think it's only... It's a... It's a 1.1 kilowatt system with a 1.5 kilowatt inverter. So they sent me all the photos and they up. So these guys are upgrading their system to a much bigger one. And well, they don't need this one anymore and asked me if I want it. And I said, well, send me the details. Send me the, send me the label here. And hell yeah, that's a 190 watt panel, 45 volt open circuit. And the dimensions are, the dimensions are exactly the same as these 390 watt panels I already have. So I will have nine of them all in total at the end of this day, hopefully. And the good thing is the dimensions are exactly so they fit into the test lander. I can fit six of these panels into the test lander. Um, this point, I'm not sure about the rails. Because it looks like on these on these photos here, yeah, well, they've, they've they've mounted the panels in one row, so the rail system should be a bit over five meters. Yeah, there should be a bit over five meters. So if I take the hacksaw and cut them in half, I'm still not sure if they fit in the car. <laughs> I need to I need to take my the hacksaw with me as well to make it work somehow. Otherwise, I need to go back tomorrow or next week or something. Uh, it's an 80 kilometer drive to Brisbane and back, but that's fine. Test lander is charged. We will go in half an hour. I'm already packing up uh, blankets and everything and strapping material so we can yep, get this all organized. I just hope they've got enough um, brackets and screws and bolts and everything. It looks like this is the Cle Cleanergy, Cl Cleanergy, whatever they're called, um, system as well. This is the same rail system with the offset nuts. You may remember this from the other videos. So this looks exactly the same system as I already have on the other side. So they don't want any money for this system, um, but they were asking for a donation to the guide dogs of um, Queensland. So these are the, um, the basically the, the guide dogs, the, yeah, well, if you are blind or if you are visually challenged like I am and you cannot see anymore you get a little dog and they walk you across the road and everything and stop at the traffic lights yeah it's it's pretty much like the Tesla just as a dog so we've got nine panels of 190 watts six panels of 220 watts basically for free well apart from the donation but that's fine i'm super happy to do a donation to this organization i'll link them down below as well and of course this donation is also tax deductible so i'm getting a little bit of this money back from the government yeah and guys look at this all these batteries are have arrived now amazing right uh, unfortunately they are not all for myself there's someone else coming and picking some of these batteries up and I'm still not 100% sure what kind of battery system I should buy. I've got enough batteries here to get started now with a 24 volt battery system. But I actually really want to go a little bit further and do probably a 48 volt system. So double the capacity. Um, I'll talk about this in a later video very soon. I, I just need to bounce some ideas. I need some feedback from you guys. What do you think? But for today, we get everything organized now and pick up these six panels plus rail system, plus inverter, plus everything they have. Let's go. So guys, we are now in Brisbane here and picking up the solar panels and it's pouring down. Thank God I could park under this carport. We've got four modules in the car already and there's still heaps of space. So I just keep loading. Mm -hmm. 
So finally we made it home. Oh, I can barely see. Who's saying there's not enough space in a Model 3, hey? So six solar panels easily and they fit another five, I think. And these are the rails, but we had to cut them in half. So they are 1.7 meters now and they fit it perfectly in the car like this. Well, I have to join them together at some stage then, but this is a future project anyway. We have the other solar panels and we've got the inverter here wrapped in the front trunk. No problem. The whole 1.2, uh, 1.14, something it is. The whole 1.1 kilowatt system fits in the Tesla Model 3. Well, if you cut the rails, of course. Uh, I need to show you something else here. Uh, here. Unfortunately, this is the only accessories they had left from their solar company. So uh, this is the only leftovers from the existing system. So that is ridiculous nothing. There are two end clamps and four in between clamps and two more nuts. And well, what can I say? <laughs> of course they have a different shape. So this rail system is a different one to what I already have. So we need to source some of these, but I think we have seen them online already. Okay, let's unload the solar system and then I'm looking forward to a cold beer. Okay, that's pretty much it. Just need to vacuum the car this morning a little bit after having all these blankets and fabrics in there. That's so dusty, it's unbelievable. There's dust everywhere inside, really. So I cleaned this up a little bit. Sorry I didn't finish the vlog yesterday. It was just so late and... Well, we came home at about 9 o'clock in the night and needed to take care of all the animals first. Then I unloaded everything. So let's have a quick look what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six panels. 190 watts each. Here is the, um, the label again. If you're interested but these are exactly the same panels as these three over there which I bought months ago to repair my solar system on top of my roof on my house because as you know this contract doesn't allow me to change anything here but I'm able to repair it so I'm I'm allowed to repair stuff so I replaced one panel with one of these ones and now we've got six more of them so six plus these three plus these six. It, it will be massive. It will be massive. <laughs> I'm really looking forward. And we also got the inverter here. I had a quick look last night. Um, here are some details. It's a 1.5 kilowatt inverter. 7.5 amps. And else is important. Nothing else. 360 volts. They are saying that's DC. I don't know. Yeah, well, that's the inverter. It's a heavy beast for 1.5 kilowatts only. It's a clean, cleaner, Clenergy, Clenergy SPH15. Unfortunately, the installer who took it off, they, they didn't keep the, the cable for it. So I don't have the connector cable to connect it back to the grid. Need to see if I can source one online. If not, that'll be that'll be it basically because usually inverters have like a junction box here like a connection box down here where you pull in your cable from the grid and then connect everything but this one doesn't it has like a like a proprietary plug here which they are using apart from that everything else seems to be fine there's a usb connection as well to program the inverter an rs232 and the positive and negative for the solar input it's a one string inverter only and then we've got the rail system here which I haven't unpacked. Well, you know how a rail system looks like. Unfortunately, we had to cut this in 1.7 meter length, so we just cut it in half, basically. I've got four rails in there, 1.7 meters now. So I'll take care of this later on. This will be a future project, far, far, far in the future. So months, 
years away. <laughs> I just took the opportunity to get this free solar system yesterday. So that was good. And surprisingly, everything fit into the Tesla Lander. That was really, really impressive to have these six panels in there, plus the rails, plus the inverter, plus my wife, plus myself, plus our groceries. Everything fit in the car. Well, I guess that's it for this episode, picking up another free solar system. If you are in the market of building your own solar system with battery storage to power your garage, your shed, your cabin, your house, whatever, RV, have a look online in these online markets this, where, where people are selling and buying stuff. There are sometimes very good offers to buy used solar systems, including inverter, rail system, and some of the mounting parts as well. But maybe you are able to get one of these very cheap or even for free. So a lot of people here in Australia are upgrading their system at the moment and there are heaps of offers on the market. The market is pretty much saturated with solar panels at the moment. I know some installers, they take them with them and put them in big containers and they've got containers full of solar panels, of used solar panels and nobody wants them because they're all buying new because they are so cheap. But you know, solar panels, they last at least 25, 30, 40 years until they are not good anymore. Even if they lose a little bit of power, they are still good enough to build a solar system and charge batteries and everything, you know? I mean, usually you take, you have used batteries and you've got used solar panels, that's fine. So very quickly before we end this video, when I repaired this solar system on top of my house, I took one panel off and did a performance test, a power test and it had still 98% of power delivery. So, and this is after over eight years on top of the roof here in harsh Australian sunny conditions here. 98% performance still. So they lost 2% in eight years. So they will, they will last a long, long time. So don't be scared to buy a, a used solar system, used solar panels. They are still good. Okay, guys, before this video gets too long, Thank you as always for watching. Thanks for all your support. Uh, we shall see us again in the next video very soon. And then we talk about something else. Okay. Thanks guys. See you then. Bye bye.